Welcome back everybody, so nice to see you as always, and we have a little squidgy in the middle Hi. today. This is my partner, Carly Rowena, and Hi. if you haven't seen her channel, take a look at this bad boy. Hey. No. 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 She's basically having sex with the air. So this is one of my favorites, the hanging leg raise. So we don't have the most feminine physiques, guys. Well, Leon's not doing too bad. He's got a good rack going on now. He's doing better than me. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Carly in today to show us her top exercises on getting a great body. Okay, so one of my favorite exercises, if we begin with legs and work our way up, would be curtsy lunges, which this one actually showed to me a couple of weeks ago. Did, nailed it. Uh, so this really, really gets that kind of side bit of your bum. You can actually press it the next day. You'll know exactly where I mean. And the inner parts of your legs. So the one thing you want to make sure when you get yourself set up is that your hips are always facing the front. So I would recommend going in front of a mirror so you can see yourself. And then you want to basically lean back as far as you can with your leg, literally throw it all the way back and then slightly tilt it to one side. You'll know if you haven't gone far enough because you'll feel very awkward and a little bit like you're going to fall over. Or if you haven't gone far enough over, then you've just done a basic back lunge, which is absolutely fine, but we want to go a little bit more to the side for this one. The rep range wise, what are you doing at the moment, darling? At the moment I'm doing about 50 to 18 and I'm using like between 17.5 to 25 kilos depending on everything else that I've done. Okay so if you haven't ever done it before guys make sure you do it body weight just to get that movement right because it does unstabilize you quite a lot oh, so yeah. you can end up falling on your backside but it is a killer for the butt and legs. Okay second exercise is deadlifts. I describe this to my clients as pulling down your jeans and pulling them back up. Stick out your chest, bring your shoulders back, flatten your back and stick your bum out. Do this with a weight and you can go heavy here, but obviously for most of you, if you're just beginning, start light and build your way up. Although form will show you if you're doing it right. So make sure that you're going for the right weight. What would you kind of say to people? Um, it's, you can't really guess at a weight. It, you kind of just got to get in the wet rack, look for the rep range that you're looking for and make sure that the form's good. That's the most important thing. It's more about thing. strength of deadlifts as well, isn't it? Isn't that right, Donna? Yeah, you're absolutely spot on with saying pulling up and down your jeans. A sign of a good deadlift is pretty much great shins. Because the closer that bar is to your center point of gravity, the easier it is to get the bar off the floor so you can lift more weight. Next up, we are going to work the backs of your arms and your chest. So we're going to do tricep push-ups. This, I generally tend to say, is a bit like diving over your hands. Um, a lot of people kind of drop their That's tummy. That's a really clever way yeah. of saying it. You want to make sure you don't drop your tummy. So that shouldn't touch the floor, but your boobs or your chest should touch your hands. So with this you want to do like a pyramid shape with your hands. You want to drop your bum so your back is nice and straight and then bring your body all the way down onto your hands and push back up. If you find it really hard, start wider and gradually move your hands in closer. Tricep press ups we personally absolutely love. They are a, such a simple body weight exercise. You don't need anything for them apart from a little bit of basic strength because yeah. they are pretty tough. Um, but if you're in the gym, you have got the option of using push downs at various angles just to build the triceps up a little bit and then get to the body weight work. It's good for the core as well. Like Carly said, you want to make sure that you don't get that big dip in your lower back. So you want to posteriorly tilt your pelvis this way and that's going to engage your lower abs as well. So you get a good little plank involved at the same time. Okay, so my final exercise is all about the core, but we're also going to work your shoulders, your abs, and a little bit of your arms in this one. So you need one of those giant inflatable balls. We're going to go on it as if we're going to do a plank, and you're going to make sure that you drop your bum and tilt your hips, as John said. We're then going to use our elbows, and you can relax your hands, put them in a little fisted position. And then you're basically going to, I say, stir the cauldron. You're going to do 15 one way, and then you're going to do 15 the other way. You should feel it like a kind of rip going all the way down the center of your stomach. If you're Selling doing it. it right. <laughs> it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but trust me, it's all about balance, getting in the right position. If you don't feel in your tummy, push your arms out forward slightly more till you do. So there you have it, team. And what you're probably noticing very swiftly is that the way that guys train and the way that girls train isn't particularly different, apart from maybe the weight is slightly different, the approach can be slightly different, but more than anything, Apart from in Carly's case, because she likes to, there's a lot more grunting that goes on in the men's oh, world, let's grunt. be honest. <laughs> so don't be afraid, guys and girls, to get in the gym, really stick some weight on those bars, and get some good complex movements going in there. Get your deadlifts in there, get your lunges in there, and build yourself a nice strong physique. And we did also do a video over on my lovely other half's channel, which yeah. is all about what, darling? All about how to get rid of food babies and bloating, which I know is a problem that loads of you suffer with. Awesome, so make sure you go check that out. Give us some love while you're over there and we will be back this time next week. We love you all and goodbye. Bye, Bye guys.